My name is Leanne and I work as an electrical draftsman and designer. Um, my typical day, I would come in and uh, possibly discuss some projects with my supervisor and see where we left off the day before and pick up on um, where we need to proceed on jobs. We do um, electrical designs and um, work on anywhere from small projects to uh, enormous industrial plants. Sometimes we work on several projects in one day. I could work on um, something for you know, um, uh, an amount of time in the morning and be working on something completely different in the afternoon. Um, typically, I'm at my desk all day long. My work includes um, drawing. Sometimes we draw in lighting um, and receptacles, power. We show generators and transformers, um, air conditioning. Draftsmen, <laughs> draftsmen will, uh, some of them work in dif different disciplines. They may do plumbing um, to show where the water lines are, where the utilities are shown on the, um, on the outside of the buildings, where they come into the buildings. We draw them and um, show where all of the uh, power is coming from and where all the power is going to, um, how heavy the loads are, and what types of lighting. We have symbols that show um, what the power is and what the lights are. We do um, drawings that are printed out on big printers. They're like blueprints and I'll work on them and then I'll pass them on to my supervisor who might make changes on them and um, then we'll go from there and submit them and see how the client likes what we've done. Um, if they want to make any changes they come back and we adjust them accordingly. The program I use is an AutoCAD program and um, that's my greatest tool on my computer. Uh, sometimes we use um, Microsoft applications like Word and Excel, but for the most part I use AutoCAD and I use it on the computer to draw um, line circles and arcs all day long. I'm here 95 percent of my day in this desk. In order to do this job you would need a a good f foundation on uh, computer skills, be able to operate a computer fairly um, easily. You would need to be able to um, operate micro applications like Excel and Word that would be helpful in your job, but you would definitely need um, an associate's degree in technical drawing and design uh, to be successful in this uh, career. For me, I think the best part of the job is knowing that you've been a part of something that's going to be here um, long after you're gone, for quite a long time after you're gone. You have, you have left a mark on something. Um, it could be a small thing or it could even be a, a huge uh, project that you've had your hands on just a little bit, but you've had something to do with it and maybe that places locally and you can drive by and you can say hey that building is sitting there because that's where I told them to put it and and they did and that's what you've left. Um, I think as far as the worst part is like for example today when I came in I had an email that was instructing me to ro rotate a building 180 degrees on a um, project on an assignment that I thought was completely finished and that doesn't happen every day, but when, you, um, when you're done with something, you might not necessarily be done with it. And I think that would be probably the only drawback that I would see in something that, that um, has uh, other people's input in it and they can, they can change it on a whim or they might have a really good reason for changing it, but it can change on you and you have to redo it. But other than that, I, I, I enjoy what I do. and, and um, there's more pros than cons. 
My final advice to you if you're considering a career in this area would be to possibly check into some local um, colleges or universities that may offer engineering camps in the summertime. Also, you might go to a local engineering firm and see if they would give you a tour and show you um, the operation, how, it, how things happen and what people in, are involved in. Um, most places, I think, would be um, very willing to uh, encourage you and show you what goes on so you could determine if you um, might want to pursue, pursue a career like this.